to do. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite part of these conversations. Cheer for your children. You gotta cheer for them. You gotta cheer for them. You gotta expect greatness. And you gotta tell them, tell them you believe in them. And tell them often. Because there are gonna be a lot of negative images and a lot of negative messaging that they're going to get in the streets. And so you have got to tell them you believe in them, you expect greatness, you're encouraging them to reach for the sky. Now, even when their behavior is not appropriate, that they've done stuff, they've messed up, you've had to put them on punishment, you still say to them, I'm disappointed in your behavior, but I still believe in you. And I believe that you are destined for greatness. I mean, there's so many things we could talk about on this. Put notes in your little children's book bags. Put notes in their bags. Leave notes on their pillows. Put post notes on the mirror. I believe in you. I'm cheering you on. Before my children were old enough to understand this, I said to them, I know that you are going to be great. So my son, who went away to college, my younger son, sends me this email, very touching email, most of which I can't tell you because it's very, very, you know, it's just like this really wonderful email. And he, he ends it by saying, I know that you're expecting greatness from me, Mom, and I am not going to let you down. You know, I mean... You know, and all those times, I just be pulling for him and praying for him. You know, yes, you're still grounded. You know, yeah, you still no, you can't go out tonight because you're grounded. But I still believe in you, and I expect greatness. And just because they make mistakes, does not mean that they have to keep making mistakes. And so we got to cheer for them because we got to raise the bar. If our children are not performing where they should be, and every child can't be on the honor roll. Every child can't be on the honor roll, let's be real about this, but if they can do better, you've got to encourage them to do better, and you've got to tell them that you are expecting greatness from them. We are expecting greatness, because too many of our children have gotten off the path. Too many of our children are in jail. And so that brings me to the last part, because I really do want to keep time for the Q&A. When you cheer for them, you got to look them in the eye. And then this is what, this is the second part of your homework assignment. I want you to talk to every child. What is tonight, Wednesday night? Between now and Sunday night, this is the second piece of your homework. You are to ask every child, what is your dream for your life? If you could be anything in the world, if you could do anything with your life, what is your dream for your life? Now, the little ones may not know yet. You know, they may be a firefighter today, the ballerina tomorrow, you know, astronaut the next day. That's okay. What we're teaching them to do is we're teaching them to dream with no limit. The sky is the limit. That's what we want our children to do. We want them to dream. Now, this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. I'm telling you. I'm just warning you. This is my favorite part as soon as the clicker works. Then, what they tell you, I want you to take a piece of paper. I'll give it back. <laughs> Just any piece of paper will do. I'm going to give you your notes back. I want you to then write in big letters with a magic marker, I want you to write what they told you. Teacher, journalist, doctor, singer, astronaut, psychologist, police officer, whatever it is, 
I want you to write it in bold letters on this piece of paper. And then I want you to have a posting ceremony. I want you to get four thumbtacks. And I want you to put the piece of paper on the ceiling above their bed. Why? Why? Because I want it to be the first thing they see every morning when they wake up. First thing, first thing, every morning. 